So in video number three, I'm going to show how the trend function can be used as an array to get all the predicted values. That is, all the values on this trend line. So you want to select the entire range here. Equals trend. Select all your known y's. Select all the known x's. Go ahead and close the formula here. And before you push enter, hold down the control and shift keys. Then push enter. And you want to make sure that's being treated as an array by looking at the formula bar. And if there are brackets around the formula, then that formula is being treated as an array. And so that's all the values here, or the predicted values per capita, that are on this fitted trend line. This is important as it sets the basis for calculating residuals and the standard error later on. And you can actually double check this. So 55 would be right here, and the value should be somewhere between 6.17 and 6.27 and it's 6.18 and if you look at 71 which should be between here and here the value should be between 7.35 and 7.59 and it's 7.42 and 110 should be greater than 10.01 and it's 10.42 so next time in the next chapter we'll be looking at multiple regression thanks for watching